Okay, this is the component two class questions booklet. This is question five, so we're in the topic of cell division. Um, so I've got all my gear, highlighters and a pen and a calculator and a ruler because that's kind of what you need when you're doing questions. So, let's have a look. It tells us that chromosomes are not usually visible in cells during most of the cell cycle. However, during mitosis, Chromosomes can be observed at different stages of nuclear division. What must be done to the tissues to enable chromosomes to be seen more clearly? So if you think back to when we did this experiment, what did we need to do? We needed to stain the tissue. And we did it with toluidine blue you can do it with acetylcorsin, which gives you a lovely sort of purpley red colour. Um, but the point is, it's a stain, it's not a dye. You dye your hair, you don't dye um, tissues. So, an investigation was carried out to determine the maximum region of maximum growth in the root. Longitudinal sections of garlic root tips were examined using a light microscope. Numbers of cells counted, so that's our... Uh, we're counting in a field of view. We've got an area there. Total number of cells in the field of view was counted. So we've got the different stages and the total number of cells in the field of view. And the process was repeated at increasing distances from the root tip. So that's our independent variable. So here we've got right at the root tip, 0.2 millimetres from the root tip. Using all the letters from the image, so we've got to put letters A, B, C, D, E, F. Identify the stages of mitosis. So what do I know about mitosis? Um, I've got prophase where this, they appear, metaphase where they're in the middle, I always think they look like somebody's put a thumb on a spider, anaphase where they're moving apart, and telophase where you've got two nuclei. So, looking at this, easy peasy to spot, squash spider phase, C and E metaphase. Easy peasy to spot. Anaphase F. And I've got uh, D has got two clumps of chromosomes. A has got two clumps of chromosomes. A and D. Leaving me with B which can only be prophase then. And we can see that they're appearing, but they look like they're still sort of contained in, a, in an area. Have I got all the letters? A, B, C, D, E, F. Perfect. So, uh, moving on then. The percentage of cells undergoing mitosis at any one time. So, here we're going to have to... Percentage of cells is the mitotic index. The percentage of cells in mitosis is called mitotic index and can be used to assess the growth rate of that tissue. So, results of the investigation and we've got to do a calculation. Calculate the mitotic index for 0.2 millimetres from the root tip and then it tells me in bold, write your answer in the table below. So that means I can use this space to calculate so, percentage of cells undergoing mitosis. So I'm going to need my calculator. So, I've got six cells undergoing mitosis. Undergoing mitosis, we've got six. And the total number is 47. Six divided by 47 equals, and it's a percentage so we're going times 100. So I've got 12.76595. That's a big long number and I don't want to write all of that number in. 
But when I look at the other bits of the table, this is to, everything's to one decimal place. So if I'm rounding then, so I've got 12.76 and I want to round it to one decimal place, that one's going to go up 12.8. And this is one of the ways in which they can tell you, you know, normally I'd say, oh yeah, do it to two decimal places. But if the table's only to one, just do it to one. That would be the most sensible thing to do. So here we go, getting a bit more complex now. So with reference to the mitotic index, what conclusion regarding growth rate can be drawn? So we're saying that we can use the mitotic index to assess growth rate. What are we saying that that growth rate is? Okay, so and we've got to refer to the mitotic index. So, um, well, what can we say? Well, the trend is that it gets higher as you go. So this is 0.2 millimeters, then you've got 0.5, da da da, all the way up to 1.8. So the closer it is to the root tip, the higher the mitotic index. So the closer. Uh, the distance to the root tip it's clumsy, I should have thought about that before I started writing it down the higher the mitotic index so you're really just sort of saying something about the trend in the data there but then we have to say something about this growth rate so what does that mean so more cells undergoing mitosis means you're making more cells, so therefore um, the growth rate should be higher. So <coughs> this means <coughs> more new cells are being made and the growth rate is higher. Okay. Describe. Describe how you could improve reliability. This is straight, just a bit of practical here. So, um, in the exam, a lot of students wrote about repeating the experiment, but they didn't say then what they were going to do with the data. So this is a pretty standard answer. If you're asked how you would improve reliability, you're going to write that you would repeat the experiment and calculate the mean. Easy peasy, one mark. Okay, so moving over, we've got big long space, so we're going to need a big long answer. So this is probably going to be reaching up into that AO2, AO3, just on the length of the answer. It might be a combination, and um, we're probably going to have to use information from all over the place. So the drawings below show the appearance and average length of cells at 0.2 millimetres and 1.8. So this is our 0.2 one, and it's little, 90 micrometres, and this is our 1.8, and that's a lot longer. So if we're looking at the root, well, this is your paper, you can draw on it. What we're saying is all the cells down here are little, and all the cells up here are longer. Okay. And of course, what we know about the mitotic index is that we've got more mitosis here and less mitosis up here. That was our trend, wasn't it? So, using all the information, well, that's a giveaway then, isn't it? So we need to be flicking back. Explain, so give reasons 
why the mitotic index does not fully, not fully explain the overall growth of garlic roots. So, what can we say about the mitotic index? What does the mitotic index show us? It shows us really the sort of the rate of cell division. So, but it's only giving us information about cell division and not about how big the cells are. So that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to say that uh, the mitotic index only gives information about cell division and not cell length. So, <clears throat> what could be causing the growth up here might be an increase in cell length and here we're making more more small cells and here they're, they're getting longer. So, okay. So, um, growth could also be down to cell length. I was going to say due or owing, but I can't remember which one to use when. So there we go. I'm always getting told off for it by my dad. Um, so I'm going to go down to instead. So what's our evidence then? Because we have to use all the information, which means we need to use the diagram as well. So, uh, the evidence for this is that the cells are longer the further away from the root tip you are, further away from the root tip and they've actually told me how long these cells are and just sort of in my head I'm thinking well that's like three times longer just over three times longer and if you've got sizes and data and they're saying use the information and you've got something numerical why wouldn't you actually tell them that you, you have used that data uh, so on the diagram, the cells at 1.8 millimetres from the root tip are over three times longer. And sometimes you get data marks just for actually stating it. So if you said you know, I know this because at point two, you know, near the root tip they're 90 micrometres and further away from the root tip they're 300 micrometres and that would also show them that you've used the data that they've given you. Um, so, um, my totic index does not fully explain, this is my conclusion, Explain overall growth as growth is a combination of cell division and increase in length. And I'd just be a bit wary, because you've only got the length, and the width is all, it looks almost the same, about saying increase in size or something vague like that. Okay. Phew. That was a long answer. Four marks. A student attempted to find the mitotic index of garlic roots using the root tip squash technique and an image of the slide is shown below. Obviously in the exam this was in beautiful full coloured pink. Using your knowledge of the method used, so this is an experiment we did, 
explain why it would be difficult for the student to calculate a valid mitotic index even if we used a higher magnification. So even if we could see those cells uh, bigger, why would it be difficult? And here you really need to be thinking, well, what difficulty would everybody have? You know, what difficulty would Stephen Hawking have with this? David Attenborough, you know, super scientists, what difficulty would they have? So you can't be talking about, oh, it's really difficult to count the cells or, you know, you can't really see them properly. So, what difficulties are there with this? So first of all, uh, you will have noticed when you did your root squash that some of the cells get damaged and therefore uh, the, the chromosomes are outside of the cell. So, and with the best will in the world that's going to be the same for everybody. So some cells may be damaged. chromosomes are outside of the cell and they might be quite a distance away so you can't match them up either especially if you squash them properly. Uh, the staining is a problem so you can see that these are different shades of well, grey on ours um, so some cells may not have taken up enough stain so obviously then you can't see the chromosomes we've got some overlapping layers here overlapping cells and um, make it difficult Focus. On cells. And and then at the edges, you know, do you count these ones that are half in, half out? Because remember what we need to do in mitotic index, we need the total cells. And even if we could only see, you know, these ones and we need the ones in mitosis, so it, do you count the ones at the edges that are half in, half out? Um, it is difficult to count cells that are half in, half out. Of the field of view. Raw, hold them.